Understanding your credit can be pretty complex, but fortunately for you, that's what we're here for and that's why Generation Wealthy was created. We're going to talk about credit accounts and break it down into the three main accounts, which are revolving credit, installment credit, and open accounts. So the first type of account that we'll talk about is a revolving account, and the most common type of revolving account. is a credit card. So when you get a credit card, you get a set limit and that limit does not ever change. But the amount that you can borrow or charge on that card does change. So for an example, Ruth's. Okay. Let's say you get a credit card and you are approved for a limit of $1,000, right? And so you decide you need some new shoes. Girl, you know I we love know, some shoes. We know you love some shoes. Yes. So you go and you charge $400 on a bunch of new shoes. Y'all, that's a dream. Yes. <laughs> So because you charge $400 and 1000 was your limit and that limit never changes, you okay. have $600 available left to charge. But let's say, you know, you're very credit worthy and you, Which I am. you're good with your finances mm -hmm. and rather than charging up the rest of that, you just go ahead and you pay back that $400, of course, probably with interest, but you pay that back mm -hmm. and your limit again has never changed. So now you've paid it back, you again have $1,000 to spend. You do have $1,000 left to spend, but I just really want to emphasize that just because you have $1,000 to spend on a credit card doesn't mean that you need to spend it all mm -hmm. every time. We're going to talk about credit card utilization in another video, so stay tuned for that but for now I just really want to emphasize that it's never good practice to run up your credit card to the credit max as we talked about earlier with our experiences yes absolutely so the second type of credit account is actually an installment account the most common example is a student loan so Samantha did you mm. know that the average student graduates with about $29,000 in loans? Mm, didn't know that. Yeah, so let's say that you have a $29,000 loan. A loan isn't quite like a credit card account because you don't get $29,000 in loan, use up $10,000 mm -hmm. and then pay back and still have $29,000 left. An installment account is more like you sign up for the loan, you get $29,000 in a lump sum and then you pay off the total in equal installments on a monthly basis over a set period of time. So the third type of account is an open credit account. And if the revolving accounts and the installment accounts of the world had babies, they would be open credit accounts. Examples of these accounts include your cell phone bill and utilities like electricity. If you have an open account for your electricity with an electric company, you won't pay the same amount every month because the amount of electricity you use will depend on the season and how much you use it. There's a set due date and an entire amount must be paid. So let's just recap what we talked about. The first type of account we talked about was a revolving account, which is like a credit card. Then we talked about installment accounts, which is like your student loans. And then lastly, we talked about open accounts, which are like your electricity bill or a cell phone bill. So hopefully you guys learned something and this video was super helpful. Make sure you guys subscribe if you haven't done so already and give us your feedback, which we love to hear. See you guys later. Open credit account. Is it? Yes, it yes. is. Okay. Sorry. You know the season, how much electricity you use, where Sorry, are you looking? Sorry, I'm looking up because there's somebody looking down. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, when I was going through. Or utilities, like your electric bill. So loose. Loose. <laughs> loose. My new name is Loose, y'all. <laughs>